Welcome to our channel. We're here to keep you informed and empowered in the ever-changing worlds of cybersecurity and enduring space news. We've got you covered. Hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell to stay updated. Thank you. Reporting on July 27, 2023. Two ambulance trusts, South Central Ambulance Service, SCAS, and Southwestern Ambulance Service, SWASFT, serving 12 million people, experienced a cyber attack that left them without access to electronic patient records. The attack targeted a third-party technology company used by the trusts, called Ortivis. The incident occurred on July 18 and has impacted the availability of crucial medical history information for patients, though patient care has not been directly affected. Investigations by NHS England and the police are ongoing, and efforts are being made to reconnect the affected systems. The 999 call system remains unaffected, and both ambulance services can still be reached as usual. An IT firm named Maximus, which serves Medicaid, Medicare, and other government programs, suffered a cyber attack where hackers exploited vulnerabilities in the Move-It file transfer software. This breach may have exposed the personal information of up to 10 million individuals, including social security numbers and protected health data. Maximus is cooperating with law enforcement and conducting an investigation with external experts. The company will notify affected individuals, regulators, and customers and offer free credit monitoring and identity restoration services. The incident is expected to cost the firm around $15 million, and over 500 organizations, including 97 U.S. schools, have been affected by the same vulnerability. Additionally, major companies like Deloitte, Flutter, a gambling giant, and Toyota Bishoku Corporation were also impacted by the same hacking group, Klopp Ransomware. 